Hey guys, welcome back to Hollywood Mechanic. Today we're talking about a new product we're excited, we have ready to bring to market. You'd be shocked at how long some of these products take, how many back and forths we have to do, how much money is lost uh, developing these parts, but this one is excited to be ready to go. Um, and we have a lot of new products coming out uh, in the next couple of months. Um, but what the one we're talking about today is gonna be for our front engine rear DCT seven speed cars. So that's our California, California T, FF, F12, uh, GTC4 Luso, 812, uh, Monza's even. We have now transmission bushings, okay? And what are we talking about? We're talking about these bushings right here. We're gonna go ahead and show you uh, what they look like stock. First of all, this is California and California T. This is FF, F12, and this is our uh, 812 GTC4 and our Monza, okay? Those are for the front, and then this is what the rear mounts look like for all of those. Uh, the California mount is slightly different, but the bushing is the same. Uh, so, now we have upgraded bushings. Why, why do we see the need for this? Well, we're seeing a lot of them fail. You can see this is a California um, front bushing. You can see how there's, like this little washer is supposed to act as a heat shield as the exhaust runs very close to it. If you remove that, that heat shield, you can see how black the top of this is. Um, that's coming from, you know, this bushing basically evaporating. Uh, from the heat, you can see it's already cracking there. On the bottom, it's cracked all the way through on both sides, um, just torn up. So the, the rubber is, it's not only is it cracking, but it's also very weak. Look at the amount of free play in there. And it was such a big deal that as they increase power, they've increased the size. They started here, here, and now look how large this one is. This is our largest bushing by far. Compare this size to this size, okay? Um, and even with the FF, you know, I can move this by hand. I can, I can twist this and jiggle this around. So can you imagine what 700 horsepower is doing? Um, and if you want to replace these, let me tell you, uh, it's not cheap. Ferrari doesn't sell the bushing alone, even though it's obviously removable. They sell the entire mount here. I don't know what Ferrari's charging you, but I do know that if you go to Scuderia Parts, which is usually significantly cheaper than the dealer. This part is over $600, not including shipping and customs. So you're paying a, an extreme amount for one bushing and you've got four for each gearbox, two in the front, that's what these are, and two in the rear, and that's what these are, okay? Uh, it's pretty easy to remove the bushings. There's just a little snap ring here on, the, on one side, you can kind of see it here we are, this little snap ring there in that groove. You remove the snap ring. And then on the California ones, that's the easiest to remove. You can just press out on the back side. It helps to help this heat this up to about 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, the same with this one here. You've got three points on this one. So this is a little more difficult to press out. What we do typically is cut the, um, the bushing out of the middle or just put in a press and press it until it rips out. And then we, we can provide you with a, with each bushing a little uh, tri-plate adapter here to help press that out. Again, you heat this up to about 250 degrees and then you can press that out. And uh, this one has a four point adapter that we sell with it. Um, why would you go with these bushings other than savings of the cost? Well, we partnered with PowerFlex to make a high performance, uh, harder solid urethane. This is going to have a higher temperature resistance than the rubber. It's also a stronger bushing, so much better power delivery um, and a longer life. PowerFlex is offering a, a lifetime warranty on their bushings. We're going to do the same thing, offer you a lifetime replacement warranty, um, although I, I highly doubt you're going to need to ever replace these because Again, unless you're abusing them, like adding aftermarket exhaust and, and or tunes with no heat shield on the exhaust, uh, these should not fail. These should be um, very securely planted and they're very easy to install. Once you have the bushings out, you can put it, push them in by hand about a third of the way. The rest of the way you need to press it in and you can see it's very tightly in there. Uh, it comes with a sleeve in the middle and then a washer, that's what these cutouts are for, to further protect it and kind of compress it into place. Uh, you can use your factory hardware 
with the exception of the 812 and Monza, you're going to remove this slotted washer. But aside from the washer, this slotted washer, everything will be factory bolted on, factory heat shielded on. Uh, so we're excited about this. We're going to sell them as um, pairs, options for pairs, or complete vehicles with a little bit of a discount there. Uh, the front mounts, as you can see, you know, as they stepped them up and made them larger. Uh, those are easier to remove from the vehicle. You can just uh, remove these while the car has the transmission in it. You may have to, with, especially with the larger Monza 812 and GTC, you may have to loosen the exhaust pipes and the heat shields, but you can get those out on the car. And those are the ones that I see failing the most often, um, with the exception of when there's an aftermarket exhaust and you know they all get cooked. But the rear ones are extremely difficult to get out with the transmission in the car. So I would highly recommend if you're doing a weep hole seal repair or a speed sensor repair, or you're just refreshing your gearbox to replace these, because if you do not, they're not gonna last 20 years. If you're at 10 year mark and you're removing the gearbox or you're at the seven year mark and you're removing the gearbox, just go ahead and do the bushings. The labor is very minimal to get those bushings in and out and it's gonna improve the life because, and your resale value. You go to sell the car, someone does a pre-purchase inspection and you see the Power Flex purple here, you're gonna know, oh, they've been done and I never have to worry about doing them again um, for all intensive purposes. Obviously, there's going to be exceptions. We're going to honor that warranty for you, and uh, we're excited to get these products to market. Now, we've already sold our initial order. Our, our start order sold immediately. People seem to uh, follow the page, and we talk about these things, and then they get sold. We do have another batch of about 50 cars worth of each of the models that is coming in three weeks. Um, be sure to let us know. They'll be up on the website soon. Uh, before that time, and of course, as with all of our parts, we stock multiples and multiples of backups based on the orders that we see coming through. So we always have them in stock. And if you need them shipped immediately, message us just to make sure there's no, no unexpected delays. But our orders always ship within two to four days. And uh, if it's an emergency, you message us. We make sure it's, it's in the mail the next day, next day air. Um, and that's what we do with all of our parts. So you're not like Ferrari waiting 10 days for a pump. You get in there, you know, oh, dang, we're doing a valve cover gasket. And this, we, we didn't realize we need this other seal or a timing solenoid. Maybe we should do that. And now your car's in, stuck on the lift, open to the environment, engine open, waiting on parts. We always have parts in stock. And if you need those parts, just make sure you let us know and we can get those to you right away. All right. Even if we're not doing the job. So look forward to getting you guys these bushings and seeing what your response is.